tell us the reason that for this uh, event and um, what um, we, we expect from after this event. Thank you so much. Um, this event was actually concluding the first phase of a four-year project I've been working on, God's Intervention Project, which is a divine assignment to call out on the entire world to put down their pride and accept that their ways, their system, their principles and their order of operation has not been able to help them and will not help them and accept God's own ways, God's own system, God's own order of operation as the lasting solution to the chaotic problems that our world is facing. So it's been four years of recording and recording and recording, which is just the first phase of the project. The next phase after today is going to be a series of live concerts all over the nations as God will be opening up the doors and leading me. And we are going to have an, a, a, a phase of handing over the lyric booklet to uh, script writers for movies because as we have these four different series in the project we will have four movies building up the concept message of each series so we will have four movies that will be done on this and then we'll have other artistic uh, 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 areas interpret the messages in their own way we will have conferences propagating this same message we will produce 34 tracks in uh Within, that six, within three years, four, four years, yes, within four years. Where do you get that energy and inspiration from? God gives me the inspiration by His Spirit. When you are keen, when you are a keen listener, uh, someone that has always spent time, quiet time alone with God, you will hear God. So what has been happening is that I've committed myself to quiet times. That's why most often I really don't go about anyhow. I, I spend a lot of time alone asking God questions about my life, asking God questions about the project. And that's how every month the inspiration, the message, the melody, the, the rhythm, and who features in each of the songs comes to me as a divine inspiration. From the way you talk, no challenges? <laughs> it's not been an easy one. There are days that I've gone to the studio not knowing what I was going to sing. But I step into the studio and the song comes and everything comes. But there are days that I sleep and God wakes me up singing the full song plus the rhythm and the, the instrumentals. I will go and sing it to God and say, okay, okay, look for this kind of instrument, look for this and it is done. So it has not been an easy journey. But... When God has given you something, it is not in your capacity to do it. It is in your capacity to trust him to do it. And that is just what I did. I had to trust him through the process. And that's why we are here. Amen. You, you, you've made some very strong declarations. As in, you know, you're challenging the new world order. This is definitely not a small thing. Because we know the big men around the world. We know the big projects around the world talking about this new world order idea. Where are we going to? Do, can you stand the new world order for the true order? Wow, it's a strong question and it is a difficult assignment. Like every moment I I, I go back into the project, I am my afraid. I, I am myself afraid of the punch of the project. But because he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I lean on him because he's the giver of the assignment. Who am I to stand the new world order? I'm just a mere young girl. I can't do anything. But if he has said that, he is replacing the new world order with his true world order. Let his will be done. Just to 